we are going to leverage something called the 80-20 rule throughout this entire program. And really, if you've never heard of it, all it means is 80% of your results come from only 20% of the actions you're taking, actually. In other words, there's only a small subset of actions that actually produce the biggest results. And this rule lives everywhere in our life. So I'll give you some quick examples. You tend to wear your favorite clothes, like a small subset of your wardrobe, 80% of the time, actually. And then the remaining 80% of your wardrobe, you only wear 20% of the time. The same is true with spaces in your home. You tend to spend 80% of your time in 20% of the spaces in your home. So like, for instance, your living room, your kitchen, your bedroom, and then more specifically, maybe the, the one side of the couch in the living room. And maybe in front of the sink in the kitchen, and then maybe in your side of the bed in your bedroom, like so specific spaces you're spending most of your time in, in other words. And if you pay attention, you're going to start to see this rule everywhere. Well, in this program to help you lose weight super effectively, there are several 80-20 rules that we're going to be leveraging. And I'm going to share the first couple with you here so that you can really start to apply these principles right away in week one. So the first one is 80% of your results are going to come essentially from controlling your calorie intake. And then the other 20% will come from exercising. So it's not to say that we're not going to be exercising or that we don't want to exercise. I just want you to understand these principles first before we actually create an actual program that you're going to be following to get to your destination. So let me explain why 80% of your results come from controlling your calorie intake rather than exercising. You can eat 500 to 1,000 or more calories in one meal, in one sitting actually. And you actually hit that mark with even just a few slices of pizza. So in one meal, in just 15 minutes or 20 minutes of eating, you can intake 500 to 1,000 calories pretty easily. Here's where you're going to start to really understand the power of this rule. You can only burn 500 calories in one hour of exercise. And that's usually a pretty rigorous, pretty good pace worth of exercise for that entire 60 minutes to burn 500 calories. You can burn more depending on the type of exercise you're doing, and we're going to get into that later in this program. But the idea here, and what you're going to start to see right away in this program, is there's a way smarter way to reach your goals, actually, by focusing in on your calorie intake. And it's literally four to five times more effective. So in other words, if we focus most of our energy on controlling our calorie intake throughout these next six weeks, it's going to be far easier for you to reach your goal. You won't have to battle it out and work your tail off in the gym for hours and hours each week. Instead, we're going to be working smarter, not harder. Okay, so I hope that sounds good. This principle will change the game for you right off the bat. And we're going to be applying this to the next level in this last part of the video. So it's important to understand energy and how we use it in the form of calories from our food most effectively. And this part of the video is going to be life-changing for you because this is the 80-20 rule for exponential weight loss. And I'm talking this will provide the biggest, best, and fastest results for you. And we're going to want to start to really leverage this as quickly as possible in this program. So stay with me here. This is one of the most important modules and ideas I'm going to be sharing with you. In the first couple of videos that you watched, we've broken down calories and we've discovered your T number. And then we now know that you have to subtract a thousand calories from your T number over the course of seven days in order for you to lose two pounds that week, which is 7,000 calories under each week. So we're going to go a bit deeper with this concept to help you really hit this number effectively. Using the same idea that there's 3,500 calories in one pound, I want you to just think about the potential energy that is stored up in your body right now. Let's just say that you have an extra 20 to 30 pounds of body fat on your body right now. If you have 20 to 30 pounds of extra body fat, that is equivalent to 70,000 to 105,000 calories of potentially stored up energy that you can use right now, actually. So just like thinking about your saving money in your bank account, the body fat you have stored up on your body is actually a bank or a storage of potential energy that you can use. So essentially, all it really is, is an excess of energy that you've taken in. So if you've eaten a little bit too much, more than your body needed throughout your life, your body simply stores that as body fat for later use in the event that you don't have food readily available. So just like you can go on a shopping spree with your money, if you've got a lot saved up in the bank, the same is true if you have a lot of stored energy on your body. In other words, you don't need to keep consuming as much energy from your food, and you can actually start to use the energy from your body fat 
And I share these numbers with you, 70,000 calories stored up if you have an extra 20 pounds of body fat on your body. That's actually a lot of potential energy that you can just use and spend and expend a lot more. Like this is the time to start expending more energy because we want to lose weight. So now that you understand your body and the potential energy that you have, I want to help you unlock it right now in week one. So one of the biggest tricks and secrets about weight loss is understanding how your body uses and burns body fat. So if you've ever heard of fasting, I'm going to be explaining this to the next level for you so that you can really tap into it and leverage it to the fullest throughout these next six weeks. Every time you eat food or a meal, your body is going to use that food and break it down into glucose and glucose will turn into glycogen. And that is actually your body's primary source of energy. So essentially, if you eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in between, you are giving your body a steady stream of glucose and glycogen to use as energy throughout the whole day. Well, the idea is when your body's using glycogen as energy, it's not using stored body fat, which is its other source of energy. And in a nutshell, your body can use stored body fat and break it down into what's called ketone bodies. And it can use that also as a source of energy. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about the keto diet, ketogenic diet. That's essentially the premise of really tapping in to your stored body fat to use as energy. Well, we're not going to get into full-blown keto or ketogenesis here, but instead we're going to use intermittent fasting so that we can leverage the principle of this in a much more natural state. So stay with me here. I'm going to explain exactly how it works and why we use it and why I've been using it for the past eight years, because it is the most simple and natural and effective way to burn body fat. So let me explain the whole process here. When you've eaten and your body is in a fed state, it is using that food for energy in the form of glycogen and glucose. So in order to tap into your fat stores, we have to understand how your body is using its energy. So essentially your body has about 24 hours worth of glycogen stored up. If you're an average person and you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks and you eat a typical diet throughout the day and throughout the week here. So essentially, before we can tap into using body fat as energy, we have to actually use up a lot of the glycogen stores that are already in our body from the food that we've previously eaten. So naturally, every day, we actually fast at night, right? You're not eating at night. So let's just say you eat your last meal or your last snack at 8 p.m., right? Well, then you go to bed at 9, 10, 11, 12, whatever that is for you. And you go to bed and then you wake up, let's just say around 6 or 7, and you wouldn't eat normally until 8 a.m., So that's about 12 hours from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Well, ironically, around the 12-hour mark is when your body is starting to open up its fat stores way more effectively because you haven't eaten in 12 hours. So your body is a survival mechanism. It's going to say, okay, well, you know what? We haven't eaten in 12 hours. So rather than using up the remainder of our glycogen stores, we're going to start using and opening up our fat stores from our body fat. And we're going to start to use a little bit of that energy in tandem to extend out our energy reserves the best we can and in the most efficient way for our body that we can. What ends up happening is around the 12 hour mark is when your body starts to make a shift to using body fat as energy alongside glucose. Really, it's about 90% glycogen, 10% body fat around the 12 hour mark. It's a little bit different for everybody, and it really depends on many factors, actually, especially your activity levels. If you're highly active, you can get there even faster. If you're less active, it takes a bit longer to get to that point. But essentially, on average, the 12-hour mark is when this opens up. So if you were able to extend your fast by a few hours, so let's just say we were able to wait until noon in this example, right? You've eaten at 8 p.m. was your last time you ate. And now you're skipping breakfast, in other words. So you skip breakfast, boom, puts you till noon. Well, I've got news for you. Throughout the morning and throughout those few hours in the morning, your body is opening up more and more fat stores to use as energy. For instance, by the 13, 14 hour mark of not eating, your body is now using 25% body fat and 75% glycogen. Well, around the 16 hour mark, your body's starting to use 40 to 50% body fat as energy and 60 to 50% glycogen. In other words, it's slowly depleting its glycogen stores and slowly ramping up its body fat stores as energy for your body. If you did the math on this and you were able to fast for four extra hours in the morning, so it's like a 16 hour fast essentially, 
What that actually does is for those few hours in the morning, you tend to burn 100 to 150 calories an hour every hour on the hour that you're awake. And unless you're exercising, then you can burn up to 500 calories in an hour. But on average, just in a normal hour like of just sitting and working and doing normal things, you usually burn about 125, 150 calories. So in the morning, if 20, 30, 40% body fat is starting to be used as energy, you're essentially starting to burn 50, 100 calories, 200 calories worth of body fat. And if you're able to make it till noon, then every hour on the hour after that, it exponentially goes up actually. You start to use 60% body fat, 70% body fat in hour 17, hour 18. So I'm sharing this right off the bat for you so that you understand the power of this principle. You could start to burn a couple hundred calories of body fat every single day in the morning by doing it like this. And then what I would highly recommend is that if you could ramp up your activity level during that state in a fasted state, you will start to burn exponentially more body fat, way faster and way more effective than ever before. So this idea we are going to explore throughout the next six weeks, and I'm going to take you as deep as we can go into this idea as we keep going, and you are going to know exactly what you need to do to burn way more body fat, way more effectively for yourself. And I'm going to give you lots of ideas to apply and try that'll help you get there. So I simply just want to introduce these 80-20 rules for you here on this video. And I hope you're starting to see the true power and value in what we're talking about here. And hopefully you're starting to get a glimpse of the types of actions we're going to be taking moving forward. And they are working way smarter and way less harder. All right. So I hope that is exciting to you. I promise you when you follow these principles and you're actually applying them for yourself, you're going to see unbelievable results. So with that, Make sure you really absorb this video in particular. And if you haven't quite calculated out your specific numbers, your T number and your DCC number, then I highly recommend you go back through those videos to do that for yourself as well. Or if you need any help, just shoot me an email and let me know how I can help you. Okay. So with that, I'll see you over in the next video.